Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about giving suitors their space. And by suitors, I'm mainly talking about popular people or popufers as the furry community calls us. I just wanted to take the time to talk about that today. So why is this important? Firstly, I myself am starting to become more well known in the community. So like people know who I am and like people know who Phelan is now. So I've started to get all of those DMs and like the things like, hi, oh my God, you're so cool. Like, I just want to be your friend. And my boundaries have started to become not. Like I no longer have boundaries where people see me as just a normal person. I am now considered popular. Not a lot of people understand the importance of space and how people want to be communicated with. My boundaries have been basically stepped on. People don't see the boundaries that I have and the space that I would like to have because you gotta remember, I am a normal person just like you. And to prove that, look, this is me. I am just a person under a suit. There is nothing overly special about me. Hey, I'm gonna need y'all to shh. So the first point that I wanna make that I feel is the most important point is that we are people. I am a normal person. This suit is just a hobby. And this is something that's kind of funny, but the only reason we're popular is because of you guys. You guys create the image in your head that we are some extravagant person, like, oh my gosh, look at that person, that person's this. But to be honest, without this suit, nobody knows who I am. I'm just a normal everyday person. Like if I went out in my suit, you know exactly who I am. That's Phelan, oh my gosh. If I didn't go out in my suit, you'd have no idea who I am. I act this exactly the same as I am under the suit, but just a little bit less because I'm just a normal person who just likes to go about my day, do my stuff, and I don't like to be bothered. A good example is... An example of this is Markiplier, or Jacksepticeye, or PewDiePie. If you saw them in public, you would be like, oh my god, it's Markiplier, blah, 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 stuff like that. If you saw me in public, you would have no idea who I am. But once I put the suit on, I am Phelan, and you know me by Phelan. This person is famous. The person underneath the suit, not famous. My next point is, why do suitors seem so standoffish, or we just don't like to interact with you, like, behind the scenes? And this mainly goes with our online personas. Some people like to talk to their fans online, some people don't, but you have to respect that. Me personally, a lot of fans really want to talk to me, but I'm a fursuit maker and I have a job, I have a life other than this. This is just a hobby. I have other things that I have to do that are more important than this. So I actually really don't have time to just, oh my god, uh, hey, how are you doing fan, blah blah blah, like, I, I don't have time for that. It's not that I'm being mean, it's just I don't have time to be doing all of that. And you have to remember, you guys are strangers to us. We don't know you. We don't know who you could be. A lot of you are children and they, you just like to give us your information. Like, oh my God, I'm a 13 year old and I love your suit so much. You inspired me to be a furry. Like, okay, I get that, but like, uh, thanks. But you know, don't con expect a whole conversation right after that. We'll say thank you or something, but don't expect the whole conversation because we've got things to do and we don't know you. You're a stranger. Like. Cool, thanks stranger. Some of you come off as obsessive and that's kind of scary to us. When people become obsessive, it's like they can't stop thinking about you. They they just want to be with you and a part of you. They just want to be your friend and you, it, it scares us. It's like a huge turnoff. You're like, oh my God, can I be your friend? And we're just like, uh, I don't know you. You're a stranger. Like I get you're my fan. I'll give you a hug and stuff like that. But like, other than that, I, I can't be your friend. I don't know you. We haven't even talked. Like, that's a little much. We're trying to keep ourselves safe. It's just like regular stranger danger. Like, we're not just going to go up to a random person and start talking to them and ask them to be our friend. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess you would because a lot of you do do that. I am a stranger and you are a stranger to me. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, do you want to be my friend? I don't know anything about you. That's a safety hazard. <laughs> 
concerning online and DMs like Instagram or Bergamino or Twitter or anything like that, there are three types of DM people you could say when it comes to popular popular people. There's the responsive one, there's the semi-responsive one, and there is the no DMs at all. Like they don't respond to you at all. An example of responsive is this is very uncommon, but someone who actually wants to have a conversation with you. I don't know a lot of popular people who genuinely have full-on conversations with fans that they don't know. I've never seen it before. I've never once, I don't know, but there's not a lot of responsive, popular furs who actually respond to their DMs. There are several semi-responsive furs. I myself am a semi-responsive poppy fur. If you message me a question, I will answer it because I like to spread the knowledge that I may know that you might not know. If you compliment my suit or DM me saying, oh my gosh, I love your suit, I might like send you some hearts back or say thank you, but don't expect the whole conversation after that. I'm just thanking you for taking the time out of your day to tell me something, which I really appreciate. Which also brings up a good point. Here I'm going to show you a DM exchange that I had with Sky Cabot. Now, Sky Cabot is a poppy fur. I know a lot of people probably want to talk to her, but she doesn't have time for that. And I understand that. So I did have a question for Sky regarding my fursuit quotes and stuff. So I asked Sky, I said, hey, can you give me an example of like what your quotes look like or something like that? And she was like, absolutely. Um, and she gave me like a long list of quotes and I really appreciated her after that. But after I asked her that question, I was done. I didn't have anything else to say to her. I told her at the beginning, I was like, I really love your work. I plan on commissioning you later on, but I wasn't gonna get all crazy and be like, oh my God, Sky, you responded. Oh my God, I can't believe you responded to someone like me. Do you know why I said I didn't do that? Because I know that Sky Cabot is literally a regular person just like me. Why would I blow it out of proportion that Sky is messaging me? I, I wouldn't. I also asked Sky. I said, hey, can I use this DM as an example? Because I think it's a good example of what people don't understand. I just had a regular exchange with Sky as if she was a normal person. Because guess what? Lo and behold, she's a normal person. She even included this comment right here that you can read. She basically said like, thanks for talking to me like I'm a normal person. I would talk to so many more people if they just treated me like I was normal. Now. I didn't take that as an invitation that she wanted to talk. If someone says that, this is not an invitation that Sky wants to talk to me. She was just thanking me for realizing that she is a normal person. If a suitor thanks you for something or something something, that doesn't mean they want to talk. They're just thanking you for the time you took out of your day to tell them something they appreciated. And for the very last types of DM, it's the no DMs at all. This is the popular, popular version. I mean like Aurora Bloom, probably Booker the Fox, Discord Arcane. Like I'm talking about high up there furries who are like, no, I am not talking to any of you. I love you guys, but I am not talking to any of y'all because it becomes a lot. Believe it or not, your DMs become a lot for us to handle especially when we rack up the followers. That's like 3,000 people who just wanna constantly talk to you. We don't know you. We don't, <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like this, but we don't wanna talk to you. If we're at a con, great, I'd love to meet you. But online, I don't have time for that. And just a little sub note on DMs. Suitors don't respond to DMs that say, hi, how are you? They don't wanna have a conversation. If I see a message that says, hi, how are you? I completely ignore it. I don't want to talk. I have a full-time job and I don't have time to just be having conversations with strangers. If you have a question, just ask the question. Don't DM me, hey, I have a question. Okay, what's the question? You should have just asked the question. Don't just say, hey, I have a question. Instead, hop right into it. If you got something to say to me, hop right into it. Say, hey, I need to do this. How do you do this? Hey, I'm looking into doing this. How do you do it? Just jump right in. Don't try to elongate it, get me to have a whole conversation because I don't want to have a whole conversation. I've got things to do. Not trying to be rude, it's just I'm a normal person just like you. Here are some simple do's and don'ts. This is just advice. You don't have to do any of these because you are your own person. Probably be good to follow if you want to talk to your favorite poppy for I guess. Do speak to us like normal. Just ask a question if it, as if you were asking someone at Chick-fil-A. 
if you needed to go up and ask for another chicken nugget, you'd be like, hey, I missed a chicken nugget. Can you give me another chicken nugget, please? Oh, of course. They're more likely to speak to you. Don't be like, oh my God, you're so famous. Can I please have another chicken nugget? You wouldn't do that. That's, that's weird. Don't be obsessive. Literally what I just said. Don't be like, oh my God, I love you so much. I follow all of your stuff. I like every single one of your posts. Just don't do that. Treat us like a normal human being because we are normal human beings. Another don't is if you're gonna DM someone and they happen to respond, don't expect a whole conversation. If you say hi and they happen to respond, they'll be like, how are you? Good, how was your day? Great. That's it, like I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't care at that, at that point, I don't care. Like, did you come here for something? Do you need something from me? Cause if not, I'm a bounce. Peace. Don't expect a conversation from someone you don't know because it makes them maybe feel uncomfortable if they don't wanna talk. Do, remember age gaps. This is very important. A lot of popular suitors are adults, but there are some popular suitors that are underage. So you have to remember, you're sliding into the DMs of a minor or an adult that is significantly older than you. That's inappropriate and you have to be careful with that because believe it or not, there are sexual predators out there who will jump at any moment they can to just snag you. And I don't wanna see on the news one day that because of a furry, someone gets snatched. That's not good for our reputation and it's definitely not good for you if you're the one who's getting snatched. So just be mindful that there are age gaps that you have to be considerate of. A lot of first suitors will either include their age in their bio or somewhere just so you know of their age. The last don't is don't get mad if we don't respond. We're normal people and we have the choice not to respond or we could just be busy. There's something we might be doing. Like me, I usually have to tell the people who DM me constantly like, hey, I'm busy, like, I don't have time to be doing this. Like, I also, you're a stranger, I don't wanna talk to you. I mean, it sounds harsh to say it like that, but like, I don't wanna talk to you. <laughs> like, I wanna do my thing and I'm gonna let you do your thing. And I would hope you have enough respect to just let me do my thing. I hope this helped. This is just an important topic that I felt that doesn't really get talked about, or it's a little bit hard to say it into words where you can include everything or make it understandable. If that sentence even made sense at all, but you get me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I hope you comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.